which is to resist this, right? And actually, if I look at America, and I don't, I, you know, I mean, I use America as an example because it's the world's, you know, greatest country. Um, but you look on the right, and there's resistance to clean energy, right? One pillar, one critical pillar that underpins this transformation and underpins the next era that's coming. And you look on the left, and there's a, an emerging resistance to artificial labor, right? To AI, you know ostensibly to protect jobs right but you can't do that that just doesn't work and and so both sides you know are resisting you know there's that sort of polarization that you get when you're trapped inside the box arguing about the best way to patch up the system right and you need to get your head out of that box entirely you know just transcend that space and see what's coming and and you don't have to trade one off against the other right you you build a system that has a super abundance of energy and labor and my God, you've got the most extraordinary opportunities for your economy. It's, it's just a, you know, it's the most exciting space because, you know, essentially energy and labor, you know, are the underpinnings of wealth.